In today's video, I'll show you guys how to properly bleed the cooling system of a Mazda RX-8 after you've installed a new radiator or just flushed out the coolant. For more RX-8 maintenance videos and mods, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe. To start, we're gonna find the lowest point in the engine bay where to put a plastic bottle and bleed out trapped air. And the best spot I could find is under the battery. So if yours is already out, great, but if you never removed it, you just have to disconnect the negative and positive terminals, take out the battery, remove the upper part of the tray, use a ratchet and wrench to remove the three bolts holding it in place and then take it out. Check that the bottom radiator cap is screwed in tight, but be careful not to over tighten it cause you will break it. Next, when working with coolant, you always want to have rubber gloves long sleeves are a good idea and also protective eyeglasses. Now take the one liter plastic bottle and put it in the lowest point in the engine bay, which in my case happens to be here. The main idea is to bleed out air from the system through the throttle body hose as it is in the highest position of all the coolant hoses. And this is also the last one to get filled. Also due to its location, if not bleed it this way, there will always be air trapped inside, even when the coolant bottle is full because when driving afterwards, the hose will get filled and coolant in the bottle will drop, which can lead up to high temperatures and if not taken care of, your engine can also overheat. Now let's release the clamp holding the hose and slide it up. Now twist and pull the hose to get it out. Slide it out of its position to get it as low and loose as possible. Obviously, do not disconnect the bottom part. Slide back the clamp some more and then insert the hose in the plastic bottle. The goal here is to get the hose in the lowest position possible and wait for coolant to come out of it, meaning that there is no more air inside. So now put a funnel in the coolant bottle and the coolant I recommend using is Mazda Zone FL22 which has all the additives to keep your system clean and efficient. I usually buy two bottles of 5 liters. I will link them in the description of the video. Next up, start pouring in coolant. If when pouring the bottle doesn't suck any more coolant and it still hasn't come out of the bottle, gently bend the throttle body hose so that it gets as low as possible and then you'll start seeing coolant coming out. Once you have a steady stream, take out the hose and put it back on the throttle body and then tighten it. If you have a coolant pressure tester, it gets easier and faster. No need to take out the battery, just remove the hose put it in a plastic bottle, fill the system with coolant, and when full, start pumping until coolant comes out. Afterwards, reconnect the hose and tighten it. So the bottle stopped sucking in coolant and the level is around half bottle. Time to put back the battery tray, the battery itself, and reconnect it. Now it's finally time to turn on the car. Make sure it's in neutral and start it. There's no need to turn on heat at max and full blast because in older cars the heater core had a valve on it that opened only when heat was turned on. The RX-8 does not have that valve and the heater core is open at all times. So turning on heat at max doesn't do anything. Next, we're gonna wait for air bubbles to stop coming out of the coolant bottle. While waiting, connect your OBD2 scanner and open an OBD2 app to keep track of the coolant temperature. This way you'll know exactly what's going on. I'll post the link to the one I have in the description. To help air escape, give it a couple of medium and hard revs. Check the coolant level constantly and if you see it drop, top it up with some more coolant. Ideally, you want to have the coolant level two fingers above the bottom line. When air stops coming out, we can screw back the cap and let the car work for 15 to 20 minutes. In this period, have an eye on the temperature shown by the OBD, do not trust the RX-8 stock temperature gauge because it's not reliable. And you want the temperature to be around 90 degrees. If you're in extremely hot climates, it is allowed to reach 100 degrees Celsius. But if it goes from 100 slowly towards 105 or 221 Fahrenheit, shut down the car and let it cool off. A bit of air is still trapped inside, so only after it cools off, remove the cap and start the car again so that extra air can escape. But if it maintains a steady temperature of around 90 degrees, you're more than good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description. And if you found this video useful, give it a like, subscribe and check out more RX-8 videos on my channel.